Big incredible grace news to start a Saturday morning as we have the third stimulus package bill. Finally, we actually have the bill. Yesterday, this channel was the first worldwide to deliver the first delivery of the bill to you on air. Here it is. The bill will be introduced to the House floor next week to call for a vote. It will pass. And that passing of that vote will then send it to the Senate. So what's in the bill? In this recording, I go more over the incredible details that are in the bill. The stimulus check, the FPUC, the earned income tax credit, the child care, the $3,600. There's so much good news in here. The toast is toast and the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here. And let's get ready for a great new recording of Early Mornings a la Light. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning to LA. It's Saturday, ready to crush the weekend. I'm ready, you're ready, let's get to it. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. There's a reason why you become a member. This document, yesterday, before the document was even released to major press uh, outlets and news outlets, the members of this channel got it. I am delivering documents before anyone else, so you have them to per pounce as a purple power. And over the next few days, I'm going to be separating out the bill into separate sections. So you have separate PDFs for each part of the bill, so you know what money you can get before anyone else. So make sure you subscribe and become a member. Over there is an instant chat. You can chat with your Bob buddies about the items that are in the third stimulus package and about the monies you're ready to get. I'm so excited for you. There's so much happening across the board. Let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news as you start the new morning is that Friday ended with a bang. Nancy Pelosi had a press statement. Mich uh, Steve, uh, uh, Chuck Schumer had a press statement to make. And this was released, the third stimulus package bill. It came out earlier than expected. We expected for Monday or Tuesday. The bill will finally get worked upon one more time on Monday, but it won't modify anything substantially. The bill will be called for a vote later next week. It'll pass and then it'll go to the Senate. It will not likely pass a re immediately in the Senate because there's opposition from Democrats who want to go bigger and bolder. This is your opportunity. If there's something in this recording you want to change, this is where you want to start the advocacy. Go on social media, go on Twitter, go on Facebook, tag Elizabeth Warren, call her up, contact the representatives, get behind Representative Ron Winden if you have a position about FPUC, because in the Senate is where the changes will happen. But this is a great bill. Before I get to the bill, let me make some message very clear and straight. In the Senate Sumas Package Bill, Almost every single viewer of this channel, with the only exception of viewers that are very, very wealthy, are getting five items on the, sec on the third stimulus package bill. This is great. So there is absolutely something for everyone in this bill. Everyone's going to get a check of $1,400. Everyone is going to get uh, rent. Everyone is going to get utilities. Everyone is going to get food. Everyone's going to get childcare. Virtually every viewer of this channel is going to qualify for five of items in the, in the third stimulus package. So there's no reason to ever feel like you were left out because you're not. All right, first let's go to the stimulus check. $1,400 an individual, $2,800 a married couple, $1,400 a child, $1,400 adult dependent. The income levels remain the same as I told you. The stimulus check is exactly as I told you. The income levels are based upon 2019 or 2020 tax returns. That's a big surprise. $75,000 individual, $150,000 a married couple. All right, let's get next to FPUC. FPUC will be $600, no, $400 a week. Ron Wyden wants a $600 a week, but it'll be $400 a week. From March to August, UI will be extended 
PUA will be extended, FPUC will be extended, and PEUC will be extended. That's $400 a week. Now, that may get changed when it gets to the Senate, but that's the way the bill's written right now, not retroactive. Then the children. Children will get $3,600 if they're a child 5 to newborn, $3,000 if they're a child 17 to 6. And how will that get paid and what does it represent? It represents 2021 tax return uh, income, excuse me, uh, credits that are being prepaid by the IRS to you. The prepayment will start in the month of July on a monthly basis. You'll get $300 a month if the child is 5 to newborn. And you'll get $250 a month if the child is 18 to it should be 17 to 6. That will be $250 a month or $300 a month, either $3,600 or $3,000 uh, over that duration. And that's per child. So if you're a father of seven, you could see an enormous amount of stimulus checks every single month. Next, the income, the, excuse me, the, the financial aid supplement gives a college student $1,700 plus $1,400 stimulus check. Then we have the Earned Income Tax Credit. It made it in here. The Earned Income Tax Credit is $1,500 of Earned Income Tax Credit if you made less than $25,000 and you're a central worker. This is incredibly good news. That's $1,500 if you're a central worker based upon 2021 tax return. It remains unclear still in the language if it's a prepaid item or if it's not a prepaid item. It's the hazard pay provision. So is there a big $10,000 hazard pay provision in here? No. We have not heard a Democrat talk about a big $10,000 hazard pay provision consistently for a while, and it didn't show up in here. All right, how about rent? Rent has a lot of stuff in here. There is rent for low income. There is rent for middle class. There is rent for homelessness. There is rent for fear of homelessness. And there's also mortgage payment money. If you have need help paying your mortgage, there's help for a lot of different types of mortgages. And that is privately held mortgages, publicly held mortgages like Fannie and Freddie. And there's no less than three different sections in this bill that goes over those mortgages. That's what's really, really important. All right, next. What else is in here that is quite fascinating? Well, the paid sick leave did survive. Uh, you know, this is how we started this path. The president during the campaign said certain words. Then during the transition said certain words. But in January, this channel was one of the few channels to, uh, this channel was one of the few places that almost, that got a nearly exclusive document from the president detailing a 30 page summary of what would be in the bill. It was at that point that we first heard about this paid sick leave. The paid sick leave did survive. And the paid sick leave is based upon a $73,000 annual salary times the number of weeks that you're out. There are four qualifications for paid sick leave. One, of course, is obviously you are employed, you have to stay home, but why would you be staying at home? One, you have COVID. Two, you have the, you have the quarantine. Three, your child's school is closed because of COVID. Or four, a family member has, is sick of, because of COVID. Now, SNAP is really sort of surprising because SNAP has had Wow, one, two, three, four, five changes in just two weeks by all these executive orders. And yet SNAP still gets into this bill. SNAP still gets into this bill with more changes. Why more changes? Let me tell you where SNAP is at the moment. SNAP is $1,400 a month if you're a family of four in Hawaii, plus a 15% increase from January to December because of two executive orders. Trump extended it from January to June, and Biden did it from June to December. Then there is a new addition, that's children six years or younger. Then there is also PBET, which is nationally now for the first time. PEBT -E was never nationally before, now it is. And also PEBT gets a 15% increase. Boy, so if that child has to stay at home, you can get, you're getting about $154 a child instead of $134 a child. How do you get PEBT? You need to call up SNAP. It's not automatic. All right, what else? Well, the businesses, 
you know, the businesses have got to sort of tug left and right. And right after he got inaugurated, Joe Biden held a press secretary. He talked about the importance of businesses. And he promised a lot of things. Those promises didn't show up in this bill. He promised a bill, he promised money for businesses to get their feet back on the ground. Doesn't show up in this bill. He promises a business, a business loan to go start a new business. He spent almost 10 minutes of that speech talking about things to innovate and start new businesses. Maybe it's going to be a separate bill, but it's not this bill. So what, what do businesses get under this bill? Another round of PPP. This is like the fifth round of PPP, I think, at this point. Then an EI deal grant of $5,000. Then an up to $5 million grant for restaurants. And finally, finally, a closed venue like theater grants for them as well. Now, here's the interesting thing about the restaurants and the EIDL. First, the EIDL appears to be only $5,000. Second, it appears as though it's going to be underwritten by SBA. Number three, it has a very, very quick turnaround. This bill actually has a, a timeline that requires them how fast to pay the EIDL. Number four, um, the money for the restaurants looks like an enormous sum of money, but I have a feeling that's going to be underwritten by SBA and that it's not going to be done so lucrative as it looks, because it looks like it's $5 million a, a business, so, or at least a location. So there you go. What should you expect next week? Well, you're going to have first this and interpretations of this. With every bill, there's always interpretations. There are always people that have their versions of what they read in the bill. I didn't read it as a $5,000 EI deal. I read it as $5,500. That's why I give you the document so you can look at it. Maybe I have a different opinion than you do. I'd love to hear comments. Drop in the comments below. Ultimately, people will start to have opinions and say, in that bill, you don't get it. Well, you have the bill, so you don't have to actually guess. You can look actually look at it. Next, you're going to have the bill call for a vote in the House. It will pass. The bill will then go to the Senate. The Senate parliamentarian, who's an individual, will get the bill and cut on it. She will likely cut out the $15 minimum wage. It likely won't survive. Then VP Harris will call it for an override vote. That override vote requires 50 Democrats to support it. It's at that point that Purple Power, the viewers of this channel, be ready to pounce. Because at that point, Democrats who want to change certain things and have an agenda, whether it's FPC or the stimulus check, or it's a paid sick leave, or it's the earned income tax rate, they want to change certain things. It's that agenda and that moment they'll say, we're not going to override it unless you do FPC this way. And that's how they negotiate. The bill won't be blocked. The bill won't be killed. But the And the parliamentarian's cutting of items out of the bill will certainly take up an extra half a day or a day. But this does not mean you're not getting stimulus. It just means that you could get bigger stimulus. Right after this video, I'm back live. I'm back taped with you with... Third stimulus, second stimulus, and first stimulus. Do you know that under third stimulus, there's no less than five items that's also in their second stimulus? So why would you wait for the items that are in this bill to become a law when you can already get them because they are law? I'm going to show you how you get money right now, not five weeks from now, not five months from now. So join me on that big video coming up right after this. Also like this video. Before this video was EIDL, FPUC, and Hazard Pay. Catch those overnight to LA video that explains how to get those items. And as always, stay informed, stay smoked, and stay in LA for more.